a cannon's dream, a dreadful dream I'd fain to tell. I thought I died and woke in hell, and there upon the topmost landing, some prime colony boys were standing. And going round, I wondered where dwelt the scamps from Balasadere. Mushing thus, I scanned each face from within that dreadful place. Prisoners of every nationality, therein confined for their rascality. My quest was vain, that we are not there, the rowdy rakes from Balasadere. Descending in the winding stairs through sulphur fumes and horrid lair, I searched around the lower stories, made grinning friends and sinners hoary. I saw some sparks from Drumahair, now one is yet from Balasadere. A batch of captives lately arrested, the squire old Nick of that district congested, with proprietary ear for wit drove in, made clanking chains and doffled din. They came from Swinford and a clear, but no young blood from Balasadere. Sir Nick, could I on every hand, I've seen your spoils from Earth's fair land, no doubt the well deserved their fate. Poor wretched, sad and desolate, but might I ask you, is it fair to quite by pass old Balasadere? For I own the worst of reputations, for loafing, poaching and poet Haitians, as it perchance escaped your toils, while vernal sins your fire assoils. And mention others dost thou spare, the blustering blades from Balasadere. Ha ha, quote Nick with a sense of mirth. There's not a place on all this earth, exempt from my bold operations. Resist who can my massitations, for I'll take your lore still and there. You will find the box from Balasadere, traversing hot and lurid tunnels, past mermaids, smoke and bleaching falls. He showed me chain gangs, grim and sad, arriving there. From Imlefad, from Screen, Drummer, and everywhere, except elusive Balasadere. Still down we went to low regions, encompassed by presbyrian legions, from Stared, Kilvernet, and Kilorden, as well as Sligo and Bunorden. Gone faces wore a little worry, contingents there from Tabacurry. <laughs> <laughs> At length we reached the dungeon road, in Limbus Low's latitude, and there I saw with apprehension a saucepan grim of vast dimensions upon a roaring furnace boiling, while stoking imps around were toiling. With conscious pride, old Nick drew near, the huge utensil in the rear. I peered with horror over his shoulders, despite the heat, my blood ran colder. As he raised the lid, and said in there, I did boil the boys from Balasadere. In vain betimes I tried cremation, but such a state of saturation was theirs with baths and Guinness drenched. My fiercest fires, my daughter's quench, and so I boiled the brands and deer who sowed my oats from Balasadere. <laughs> <laughs>